Major Slack Attack. And basically, let these guys do all the heavy lifting. Go ahead. Go. Hey, what's, what's the hurry? I don't know why they're frozen there. Here we go. Yeah, let them all get ahead. And we're gonna bump into some spiders and some dwarven automatons. Is that a chest? No, okay. Let them do all the heavy lifting, like I said, even if you got the bound bow or something like that. Because you don't wanna, you know, do any friendly fire at this point. We're continuing to side with Madanok. <laughs> froze him up, that's pretty funny. Okay. Get some frostbite venom. Do you want to help him out? Make sure you do a quick save just in case because you don't want to accidentally hit one of these guys. See? They're typical NPCs who always go running right in front of your line of fire. Right when you're about to shoot. I actually love Love Archery. <laughs> You guys going the right way? Okay. And then here, a couple of dwarven automatons break onto the scene. Once again, let them take care of business. Could help out a bit if you want. But like I said, it's kind of dangerous to do a quick save just in case. Sometimes these guys have a... Uh... Oh, a field greater soul gem, excellent. And a solid Dwemer metal, amazing. And don't really need those, we're not going to be using a crossbow in this... Uh... In this walker. Did I just get some dwarven armor? Ha, <laughs> how about that? Okay. Okay, as soon as you hear that, as soon as you get near the end, do a hard save, definitely. Uh, put this away. Okay, here we go. I had Kai recover all the things the Nords stole from you. You better get ready before we break out into the city. And take this, it's blessed with the old magics. Something to remember me by. Okay, at this point, what you're doing is you're waiting for all the Force Warren to leave. That's very important. Don't do anything with the dialogue to all the Force Warren leave out that door. That's number one. Number two, um, I'm going to go for... I'm going to explain everything now because I just screwed up trying to do commentary while I was doing all these complicated uh, um, things and I forgot one important step. Okay, I'd sooner forget all this. As soon as you hit that dialogue, we're going to tab out of the dialogue altogether, like just cancel out of the dialogue altogether. This is going to freeze Madanok right in this area here. Normally, if you if you click on what happens now, he'll just start running up there, okay? And then you won't be have enough time 
to uh, to shoot him and kill him. Next, cast your bound bow, put on all your bow damage armor, poison the bound bow with the poison of paralysis and shoot Mandanok and kill him dead. Okay, so that's what we're going to do next and quiet on the set because I need to focus. Here we go. Soon to forget all this. Time to finally see the sky. Tab out. Cast the bound bow. Put on all the bow damage our like gear. Some of which we just acquired, like the gauntlets of the old gods. The shrouded cowl. Put on our armor. And the Orcish Boots, Kind's Token Ring of Minor Archery. Let's hotkey the potions. Poisons of Paralysis, that's number six. Potion of Brief Invisibility, let's make that number eight. Okay, let's poison up our bow. Go into sneak mode, back away until you're hidden. You're hidden, and let him have it. Down he goes. This should keep all the four sworn out. Keep poisoning him, or keep paralyzing him. Down he goes. If you do it like that, all the four sworn will stay up there. You don't want them coming in. If you do this too close to the door, all the force we're going to pile in and it, like I said, it's going to be like facing six hired thugs all at once, some of whom have destruction spells and you're basically, you're screwed. <laughs> you're never going to get away with this at level 10 on legendary difficulty. At this point, we have sided with Thonar Silverblade, so the next objective is to search Madnock's body. See, we failed this objective, follow Madnock. So search his body, take everything, read Madnock's note. And now we have to simply escape Sid the Mine and talk to Thonar Silverblood. At this point, so Thonar Silverblood becomes an essential character. If you don't do this, he can actually be killed out there. But um, now he becomes as an essential character, so basically he can't be killed. Now it's a matter of getting out of... Okay, this is there's three parts here. Okay, first of all, you definitely want to see, do a save here. Do a hard save. And a quick save because he may screw up. Okay, three parts here. Number one, if you've done everything exactly the way I've done it at this point, all the four sworn are going to be just outside that door straight ahead. Okay? Just outside that door. They're all going to be there, but they're all going to be just standing there looking at Thonar Silverblood. And the, they all have their backs to you. So, what we can do, okay, this is what you need to do. First of all, you got to get past them, safely past them. Because if they all gang up on you, they're going to kill you dead instantly. That's number one. Number two, we have to get the Forsworn out of Markarth. That's the real hard part. Um, and it involves getting past the Skyrim glitch, where I'm sure you've all you've faced this before, where you've got <clears throat> a group of enemies chasing you. And as soon as you go through a door, regardless of how the group of enemies were positioned behind you, like they could have been all spaced out one far away, a couple closer, and, and then and maybe one or two real close, regardless of how they're spaced out, as soon as you go through that door, they all instantly spawn on the other side of the door. You ever seen this? I'm sure you've seen this. And it's a total fuster clock. You, you get on the other side of the door, you're surrounded, you can't move, they kill you instantly. Okay. This is what's going to happen when we're trying to escape Markarth because we have to get the Forsworn out of Markarth um, in order to get back to Thonar Silverblade and talk to him. Okay, so I'm going to show you what to do in this situation. First of all, let's just sneak right up to the door, make sure everything's safe. Number two, put away the bow. Number three, take off all your armor. This will make you as quiet as possible. Number four, put on the shrouded hood. Sneaking is 25% better. Number five, put on the shrouded shoes. Wearer is muffled and moves silently. Next, um, equip your staff of Storm Atronach.
and make sure your health potions are hotkeyed as number one. Very good. And make sure your potion of invisibility is hotkeyed. You can hit that. Okay, now we're ready to go. Quick save in case Mr. Fumblefinger steps in. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna step outside. Hopefully all the force we're gonna remain calm. Then we're gonna take a potion of invisibility. Then we're gonna sneak forward just a little bit. And as soon as the, the sneak eye starts to open, we're gonna boot it. Go right down to the bottom of Mark Karth near the, near the smelter. Turn around, cast the Storm Atronach to get those guys engaged. Once they're engaged and then they kill the Storm Atronach, we're going to attempt to leave. And in the meantime, we're going to put on all our armor. And once they kill the Storm Atronach, they're going to be hostile against us. The problem is getting past the door, the front door of Markarth, because as soon as you go out the front door, they're all going to spawn right there. And basically, I'm just going to spam the jump button. We're going to put on all our armor, take a potion of the draft of health. Oh, yeah, we're going to cast the... Um, Oak Flesh. Yeah. All right, so that's the plan. <laughs> to get all that, it's going to be a pop quiz tomorrow. Here we go. There they are. Take your potion of invisibility. Go forwards there? a little bit. Run. Go down by the smelter. Turn around. Cast the storm at knock. Out there. We're still invisible. Now we're visible. Put on all your armor. All your good armor. Like that guy. That guy. That's not going to help, but what the hell. The steel plate armor. And there's one thing missing. The iron gauntlets. That should put it up to 152. Very good. Oh, jeez. Get out of the way. Okay, as soon as they kill the storm Atronach, they're going to be hostile against us. Let's cast out another Storm Atronach since I fell in the water and kind of screwed things up here. Okay, now while they're working on Stormy, cast the Bound Bow. And we want to get them attacking us. They're still working on Stormy. Okay. They're hostile against us. Let's go. Go for the front door. Uh-oh. Ran out of Magicka. Go through the front door and push forward and spam the jump button. Didn't take the bait. Here they come. Excellent. Okay, so Frost is in on the fight. Now we gotta go rescue Frost. I'll go Stormy. Spin around, Frost. Let's go. High hold silver and away. Run away. And we successfully got the Forsworn out of Markarth. And survived. <laughs> Let's go a fair distance away. Okay, we gotta get away from enemies. Far enough away that we can fast travel. If we can wait, we can fast travel. No, we can't wait. There we go, we can wait. Now we can fast travel. Fast travel back to... Under Stone Keep, and that's it. Mission accomplished. We got the mark. We got the Force Warren out of Mark Hearth. We survived. Now we can go back and talk to Thornar Silverblade. They won't come back. They never come back. Once they've got, that's their whole point: is to get out of Mark Hearth. 
and there's Thonar Silverblood since we sided with Mad or uh, sided with him he's going to reward us My with the Silverblood the family ring you've done a great service to the Silverblood family I've had the Jarl officially pardon you and take care of a few other loose ends so I'm free to leave yes you're innocent there you go, Silver Blood family as ring. Anyone can be in this city. I guess we also owe you something for locking you up. Here, a family's ring, and everything the guards confiscated from you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mine that needs new workers to fill it. There you go. <laughs> I know it sounds complex, but uh, yeah, that was uh, an evening's work and part of this morning figuring out all I had to get past that damn spawn on the other side of the door glitch which I can't stand I think it's it's total total BS <coughs> bullshit bullshit um but yeah that's how they do it so there we go we finally got the silver blood family ring weapons and armor can be improved 15% better um this can be disenchanted actually I just want to go I don't think anybody got killed, that's my check. Is any loot here? Mark Card City Guards. Got whacked, I don't think so. Because they were mostly after us. Yeah, it doesn't look like. Okay, let's go back to headquarters. check it out as you can see the silver blood family ring can be disenchanted so there we go silver blood family ring that's it so that's how to get the silver blood family ring at level 10 on legendary difficulty i want to thank you all very much for watching see you next video hey guys real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on youtube for a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.